Hello guys, hello, hello. Welcome to another edition of Education from Cynthia's Couch with Finley on her lap. Say hi Finley, say hi everybody, hi. Mwah. Yes, because this is how I get work done um, and sort of today. She has not let me get a lot of work done today. She has not wanted to take her naps um, and she's been up. So yeah, it's been one of those days. But anyways, all right, so today I want to talk to you because this is uh, here lately, especially January and um, February, um, a lot of my clients, I guess you could say, um, I am working with them on the uh, improving metabolism, uh, getting guts healthy, uh, improving hormones uh, levels, uh, improving energy um, with their nutrition. Um, I work with on average, on a monthly basis, I have over 90 clients that I have between all my programs. And of those 90s, 90 clients, excuse me, three quarters of them are in the nutrition as well. So that's how many clients I'm working with on a monthly basis, um, helping them with their nutrition to reach their weight loss or weight gain, muscle gain, whatever the goal is that they are working on. Um, and this is everyday lifestyle nutrition. I'm not doing any kind of um, bodybuilding, um, plans or anything like that. That's not what I specialize in. That is not what I am really good at. Um, I can do it, but that's not where, that's not where I shine. Mine is everyday lifestyle, maintainable, sustainable teaching, um, nutrition and food that, uh, applies to everyday life so that I teach you these skills and how to learn food, um, and how to, eat food that um, you can apply to eating at home, eating at a restaurant, eating at a cookout, eating at a party, eating at an event. Um, I teach you these things so that this transfers into everyday life for you. And this is something you can do for the rest of your life. Initially, you know, there is work. You have to record your food. You have to abide by the things that I give you. And it's all, I mean, it's just like anything else. I mean, I just, uh, I don't understand why people don't think that you have to work at like, learning nutrition or exercise or things like that. They just think it's, oh, it's food and it's exercise. How hard can it be? Well, obviously if it was easy, we would all be fit as can be and healthy as can be running around here. And that's not the case. Um, I can't remember the number I heard the other day, but it's over 50% of the population is obese now. Um, so when you come into it, it's just like learning any other skill um, or anything else, it takes some time. There is a bell curve involved in it and learning it. And so you have to put the work in initially, but once you put that work in and you got it, you got it. Like it's yours for the rest of your life. And uh, you can keep going and living that healthy life uh, and you know what to do to manage it. So um, most of the clients that come to me initially, um, guys and girls, we have to do what's called a reverse diet for them. They have done years of um, yo-yo dieting, diet cycling, crash dieting, trying the latest fad diet, you know, and you, you're very, and they're very inconsistent or temporary with it. Like, oh, I'll try it for four months. Um, you know, I did it for so long, I lost some weight. I'm tired of it. It's not, you know, it's hard to keep up with. It's not sustainable. So they stop doing it and they go back to some of their old habits and then they put weight back on, if not more, what we call the rebound effect where you put on more weight than what you initially lost. Um, and that's the worst thing that can happen because the next time you go to lose weight again, it's going to be twice as hard because your body remembers what you did the last time and it's going to resist it. Um, literally, your body is incredibly smart um, and resilient and it, its main goal is to be efficient and adapt at everything. So every time you put it through one of those, it learns what you did, it learns that cycle, and it learns how to prevent it from happening again. So that's why it gets harder and harder to lose weight. Like something you did three years ago, and maybe you dropped 20 pounds, you're like, oh, I'll go do that again, and you do it again this time, and it doesn't work like it did the first time. It's because your body learned from it, and it adapted, and it's gonna prevent you from doing it as easy this time. So all of that wrecks your metabolism, your hormones, your gut, your energy levels, like it kills everything. So initially a lot of clients that start with me are in that cycle and I have to pull them out of that cycle 
and it's called a reverse diet. And in the reverse diet, the goal is not weight loss. The goal is health. The goal is to get your gut good. And again, I can't tell you how many clients come to me and they don't have a bowel movement regularly. And that guy, you should be going to the bathroom every day, guys. That's your body's natural way to detox and cleanse itself. You don't need all these juice cleanses or these seven day detoxes or all that other crap that you see is just marketed BS to you, basically. Your body is built as a your brilliant machine and its natural way to detox itself is sweating and using the restroom, okay? And if you're doing things correctly and eating right and exercising, you should not have a reason to detox or cleanse because your body will take care of it itself. Um, so we work on getting gut health back, digestion normal with clients, um, hormone health, sex drive. You know, if your sex drive is in the gutter, most likely it's due to the crap that's going down the pie hole and your stress level compounded with whatever else. Um, so we work on getting those hormone levels up and normal again and getting you back to a vigorous lifestyle. Um, and then we work on metabolism, getting your metabolism up, eating food. You have to eat food, guys, to drive that metabolism. You should be eating lots and lots of food. Um, I'll have guys coming to me that are eating like 1,800 calories and that's that's crazy low. Like I don't even have females that are eating that low a calorie once we get up. Everybody's 2,000 plus across the board, um, basically. And most males are 3,000 or higher in their calories. Um, so it's you should be eating that much and um, getting that metabolism going. That helps with your energy. Hormones are normalizing. Gut health is better. All that kind of stuff when we start to increase calories and do this systematic approach to get you reverse dieted basically. Um, so the goal is to reverse diet, get the calories up to what we find the maintenance calories or the maintenance zone. And then if they're, if they came to me for weight loss, that's when we'll really start to hammer down on the weight loss and we'll start to do some, um, cuts, some calorie cuts, um, and drop the calories and drop the weight loss. So it's a, it's a, it's not complicated, but it is, there's definitely a system to it. There's definitely a right way to do it. Um, so that you get the results that you're looking for and you don't do more damage than good. Um, so, ugh, 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 feisty little one today. So, um, that, that's what I work on with clients um, when it comes to nutrition most of the time. Now, some people come to me in a huge calorie surplus and they just need to go on a cut immediately. Um, but So, those are basically your two ends of the spectrum. You either have eating way too little with binges or we have eating just way too much in general and need to go on a cut. Um, so your calorie cuts are where you're gonna drop weight. Your calorie surpluses are where you're looking to put on muscle mass. Um, a good calorie surplus, not calorie surplus and weight gain, but a good, so I'll put clients that are looking to build lean muscle mass. You have to be in a calorie surplus to build lean muscle mass, okay? So you have to be eating more than you're burning to build muscle because that sends the signal to the brain to build the muscle and then you have the supply, the food, the energy to build that muscle. You can't just build muscle out of air, guys. You have to have something inside of your body to stimulate the growth of the muscle. Um, so that's why you're in a calorie surplus, but a clean calorie surplus through whole foods, um, eating good things for the body that maintain the energy and the hormone levels and the metabolism and all that stuff, not cheeseburger fries and Oreos. And then we have what are calorie cuts or a calorie deficit. And this is where you lose weight. You're burning more than what you are consuming. Um, and so we work on that as well with clients. Once we got, you know, all the good, the body nice and healthy and it can tolerate a cut, um, then we'll go into some cuts. And we're very specific on both sides with the surplus and the cut because when you lose weight, you're always gonna lose a little bit of lean mass and a little bit of fat mass. But the goal with the cut is to lose the least amount of lean mass as possible and really push for fat, fat loss um, in your cut. Same thing on the surplus side, where I know you're gonna put on lean mass, which is muscle, and you're gonna put on fat mass with it, but the goal is to put on the least amount of fat mass as possible. So that is strategic through the exercises that you're doing and the diet you're consuming. Um, but there's no way to lose weight or gain weight without losing or gaining lean and fat mass both. Um, so it's just, it's just a program. I know it sounds like a lot. It's not once you get into it and start learning it. It's actually pretty simple. It's just following through and being consistent and not being in a rush to crash diet. This stuff takes time. 
Um, most of my clients that are in the reverse diet, it's easily 10 to 12 weeks of reverse dieting before we even start any kind of like calorie cycling or um, cuts or anything like that. We have to get their numbers up. It just depends um, how low or what kind of shape they're in when they initially start with me, how long it takes to pull them out. So um, if you send me a question asking how long it would take you to revert, I can't tell you until we work together. That's It's very individualized and specific to each um, client that I work with on that. And then as far as cuts go, again, individualized and specific for clients, but we don't hold cuts for long periods of time so that we do not start to have any of that metabolic adaption um, again, which is plateauing. Um, and you, you cycle it in and out and I'm talking way too much about all that, but anyways, so, but so if you, I guess the point of this story is if you find yourself that you have constantly, you're constantly, um, dieting or trying a yo-yo diet or trying the next fad diet, doing it temporarily, maybe losing a couple pounds initially. And then as soon as you go back to any kind of normal lifestyle that you had, you put that weight back on. A reverse diet is for you. This program would be for you. Um, I heard one of my coworkers told me that they were talking with somebody that was doing the keto diet and they were only consuming 25 grams of carbohydrates a day and they had lost like 20 pounds. Well, 25 grams of carbohydrates is one, not sustainable. It is not a lifestyle. It's not healthy either. You need carbohydrates for proper hormone functioning, for energy levels, for your brain health. There's lots and lots of reasons we need carbs. Carbs are not bad, guys. Um, of course, my husband comes home right then. Um, so this is, this is just how these videos go. <laughs> but so um, as soon as this person goes back to any kind of normal lifestyle, and I mean, I'm talking if they even just start to consume 75 grams, just 50 more grams of carbohydrates a day, they are gonna have an adverse reaction to that. They are gonna bloat up, they're gonna swell, they're gonna put on weight. They're probably develop some sort of carb intolerance. So they're gonna have an issue gut wise, bringing those carbs back in and digesting them. Um, so they're, they're setting their gut up for some big time issues as well as hormones and metabolism. I mean, they're just, they're setting themselves up for a horrible, um, other side of this diet when they're done with it. So that's what you need to consider when picking a diet. If it's something that you can see yourself doing long-term and I'm not talking six months, guys, I'm not talking a year. I'm talking five years, 10 years, 20 years. If this is something that you could actually see yourself doing for the long term then that's what you need to do. If it's something that you're doing for quick weight loss or um, looking for a quick fix or something like that, just know the rebound effect from it, the other side of whatever this is that you're doing is not gonna be pretty, it's not gonna have a good effect, and it's gonna make it that much harder on you the next time around that you need to drop a quick 20 pounds or five pounds or whatever it may be um, to do that. And long-term health-wise, you're setting yourself up for some issues. Uh, research, uh, out there states the, as many times as you go through a diet cycle is directly related to how overweight you will be later in life. Um, so quit diet cycling if you don't want to be overweight if you're um, and you want to be healthy. More than anything, your goal should to be healthy, 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 healthy. And the more muscle mass you have um, is also directly related to longevity of life as well because the more muscle mass you have, um, the stronger you are at um, fighting diseases or um, if you break a bone, you're quicker to rehab out of it. Um, just in general health, it's related to living a longer life because you can adapt and manage through life better when you're stronger, basically. Um, so I hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, shoot them in the comments. Would love to help you. I am um, doing one-to-one -one coaching. I will officially open that up in the next couple weeks. So if you would like to or are interested in that, shoot me a message and I will um, point you in the right direction. You can find the information on CynthiaWilliamsFitness.com. If you go to one-to-one -one coaching, you'll see everything that is included in the package. I just don't have it available for purchase yet. That will open. But if you shoot me a message, um, I will get you on the list um, when I do have some openings or when I officially open that up, because I will cap that number as well so that I can do a um, good job for everybody. I'm just not gonna take on masses amounts of clients because that's not my thing. I don't need the most clients. I want to do the best for my clients, basically. And um, you can only do that by taking so many at a time. So, all right, I hope this was helpful, guys. Say bye, family. I'm out. <laughs>